Hello Farmington Middle School, Bill Nye the Science Guy here with you, and I would like for you to consider the following. There are more humans in the world today than there were yesterday, and there will be more tomorrow than there are today. Please consider the following. Today we're going to be learning about a variety of measurement tools and how to use them. Pay attention because you will be using them in class, in a lab, and then for a quiz. Bill Nye here again and this is a thermometer guys and um, you use it to measure the heat of something and uh, it's in Celsius and the abbreviation is a capital C with a little degree signed by it and this is glass so don't drop it guys It's a measurement tool. It's called a meter stick. It's used for measuring distance. The units are millimeters and centimeters and meters. And the abbreviation is M. spring scale. The spring scale is used to weigh objects that you place on its little hook. The spring scale weighs objects in newtons and the abbreviation for newtons is a capital N. right here is a triple beam balance okay it is measured in or it's used to measure uh, to measure mass the unit is grams and the abbreviation for grams is a lowercase g let me show you how this thing works here okay you put your object on the scale then you're gonna start moving the weights over okay one at a time if the thing is up that means it's too uh, too light if it's down too heavy and you move over until the needle is right in the middle. I'm Bill Nye, the science guy. Today we're going to talk about speed. People run, they run fast. I have here a stopwatch. What is this stopwatch used for? It is used for time. The abbreviation would be S. Thank you, and that's another edition of Bill Nye, the science guy. Rise.
Bill Nye back with you. Now I'm going to talk about a graduated cylinder. A graduated cylinder is used for measuring volume. The units for a graduated cylinder is the milliliter. And the abbreviation is lowercase m, capital L. Now, I'll show you how to use it. This is the graduated cylinder. As you can see, it measures volume. I have water in it. I have to get down eye level with the level of the water. It makes a little curve at the bottom called the meniscus. From the meniscus, I can read the level of the water. I see here that it's at 100, and if I go up on the lines, 110, 20, 30, 140 milliliters of water. A graduated cylinder can be used to find the volume of an object. If I place an object in the graduated cylinder, the water level increases. The water level went from approximately 140 to 150. Therefore, the volume of that ball would be 10 milliliters. Thank you for considering the following with Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill. <laughs> Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> science is cool. Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah! yeah!